hello and welcome everyone uh, this is the second video on my channel PyTuber so in this video uh, as you can see so this is a new uh, playlist I have started uh, for pandas tutorial so in this video uh, we are going to discuss about the pandas which are like uh, essential for uh, data processing and data cleaning and eda activities so in the, this is the first tutorial in pandas so uh, yeah let's see <laughs> what we have let's see uh, so in this tutorial uh, first is see why pandas pandas are used it's pandas are like uh, uh, data analysis library in a python like just like numpy we have numpy so numpy is like uh, numpy is for for, for all for numerical op operation you can say numpy is used similarly pandas are used uh, mainly for data analysis purpose let's say uh, we have data uh, and we want to store all this data in terms of rows and columns okay so normally we call it in form of data frame so how we can store those data in, in in form of data frame so in order to store data in form of data frame we need to use pandas library so pandas is nothing but it's just like a data analysis library so we have uh, many many functions in pandas so it's a really nice library which is used uh, like for uh, data pre-processing where mainly data scientists spend most of their time in data pre-processing I can say so uh, so let's see uh, as per the definition it's a data analysis library and uh, it provides the data frame object so which can be used uh, to store the data okay in tabular form and it provides the operation like you can handle uh, missing values uh, reshaping and slicing of the data so we can perform all this operation we'll see as we go ahead we'll see how we can perform all this operation in pandas so in order to use pandas first thing we need to do is we need to import pandas okay so like this you have to see to, uh, you have to write in this is a Jupyter notebook where I have uh, written all my codes so we, you have to first import pandas so then let's say uh, there is a dictionary so dictionary is like uh, data are stored in form of keys and value so let's say there is a dictionary and the dictionary I want to convert this dictionary into a data frame okay so uh, i can convert it so let's say by dictionary for my column one i have one and three and on my column two i have values two four so i can convert it into the data frame uh, i can give the index so if i don't give the index it will take by default zero and one and it will store values as column one and column two here it will store one two one three four so if i assign the index so it will take the index like row one and row two now coming to the next syntax uh, so next is uh, using list how we can use the list mm, uh, we can also store the list let's erase it first of all erase uh, uh, okay mm, so next is uh, list so li similarly uh, list also we can store uh, so let's see mm, so the, the function is uh, the syntax you can see the syntax is same syntax you have to use instead of uh, dictionary you can use list so list also you can uh, first you, you need to import panda then you can uh, 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 you can declare a list and you can store that list using pandas dot data frame function so similarly here also we can uh, define the list list uh, uh, index here you have defined the list index as p and q so as you can see uh, the list index is p and q and 
the columns are a and b so this is like this is a heterogeneous data frame so in heterogeneous data frame we have we can store in a heterogeneous data frame we can store uh, numerical complex uh, text values so that's why this is known as a heterogeneous data frame so this data frame also we can store in a um, data this, uh, like we can convert it to a data frame using uh, pandas library so in order to uh, print what are all there uh, stored in this data frame we can use this print function and uh, to check the uh, data types we can use data dot uh, d types function and the next is uh, like if you want to uh, check the inputs of the data frame like how many rows how many columns uh, so all those uh, things you can check using uh, data frame dot info function then similarly we can use to the data frame dot index uh, to see how many in rows are there in my data frame and data frame dot columns we can use to check how many columns are there similarly data frame dot values to display how many uh, values are there in my data frame like what are not how many of what are the values are there in my data frame so we can display that uh, so next is next um, like functionality of panda is uh, like we let's say uh, we have data not in uh, we have data in a text file or we want to read html data or we want to read the file we have a json file which has the data uh, so we want to read the data from the json file so all those things also can be done using the pandas so let's see how we can do with this one so let's say i have uh, here uh, this is like a, a df dot uh, to excel so this function is used to write the data into a excel file if i run this uh, the, inside my pandas the inside my jupyter library one data frame uh, sorry one excel file will be created uh, with this name this text file dot uh, excel is so let's go there i think it will be there i just ran it text file dot uh, yeah, as you can see uh, this is created just few seconds ago. Okay, so similarly, uh, we can also read the data from the test file text. So we can, uh, sorry, not text file. It's like from Excel file. We can read the data from that. And the next function is uh, so. Let's say we have data in CSV file. So CSV means comma separated value file. So here I have taken so this is a, like a real uh, project you can say. So here I have uh, taken uh, the IMDB dataset, which is easily available on Kaggle or on GitHub. You can get easily get this dataset. So here uh, we can use the zip dot csv uh, command to read the dataset from IMDB dataset so uh, then uh, just to display the initial five rows we have used uh, this dot head function okay similarly uh, this uh, dot shape is used to show the number of rows and columns in a data frame and uh, dot excel uh, dot head uh, dot read excel this is used uh, just to uh, same function we are using so earlier we read uh, we read uh, data from CSV file and here we are editing the data from uh, Excel file. So that is the only difference. And next is, uh, so similarly also we can read the data from the JSON file as well. So JSON file just give the uh, syntax instead of uh, read underscore CSV or read underscore Excel, just give read underscore JSON, that's it and then you can display the data in the data frame so this is pretty easy you can uh, just uh, then you can also read the data from html file as well so html file similarly the function is read underscore html and in order to describe let's say i want to describe so describe function it will show you the all the statistical information with respect to the data present in that data frame so it will show you 
count mean standard deviation uh, then percentile all those information you can see for each numerical value it will not show anything with respect to the categorical value it will just ignore those it will show the value it will show the statistical information with respect to the numerical values okay similarly selection by position so uh, see this is the just the first tutorial i will discuss more and more functionalities of pandas which are being used which are up, can be uh, applied uh like what are the tech these are the like main what are the main techniques or what are the main applications of the pandas in data science so i'll i'll discuss all those things and i'll take uh the, like just like see here as i have taken this imdb data set as uh, example so similarly I, i'll discuss i'll take one data set which is easily available uh on kegel or uh, github then we'll we'll apply all the functionalities of pandas on that so um, yeah next is selection by position so here uh, let's say i want to select only one uh, column i want to select only one row or i want to select uh, let's say first row second column second row first column i i want to say multiple rows multiple columns so that can be also done uh, using a pandas function we have uh, functions uh, like i lock uh, lock uh, we have functions like uh, i lock okay free so we have functions like uh text draw so we have uh, functions like i lock lock okay so we'll see how we can uh, apply those function and uh, this first example as you can see using this dot operator uh, we are just selecting this only we are extracting only this column name director name okay similarly if you want to uh, extract multiple columns we can use this uh, square bracket operator and inside the square bracket the syntax is this one df dot num column selector so it's like number of columns this is one col column this is another column so all those columns can be mentioned inside a square bracket okay uh, so the next is uh, bridge similarly uh we can use so I, as i was telling about the lock function this lock function can be used let's say we, i want to select uh, uh, only the third rows from the third rows i want to select third rows and i want to select uh, the data present uh, on the movie title and the data present on the third column so that can be done using the lock function lock function it takes two argument so one is uh, one is like selection of the column uh, one is rows with row index so row index which we have given this is the row index okay and this is movie title like uh, column index we can say uh then is i lock function i lock function is it, it takes selection uh, it takes the row position we have to give we have to give the position of the rows and we have to give the position of the column so here we have given uh, let's say uh i want to write, write um, data frame dot head if i say so these are my data frame uh i want to do i uh, not the data frame my data frame dot csv so this is my data frame and from here it erase all these things 
Let's skip three days first. Okay. So next is, uh, let's say, uh, this is my data frame as you can see. These are my first five record. And let's say I want to select uh, second rows and first column. So second row, uh, second row and first column. Let me run this. Let me run this one first. So it, 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 as you can see the second row, row second row means it's like index it's taking index say so not second rows it's taking the index as you can see the index value is two we have given so the index uh you can see the index is uh two so here you can see this is two and this is zero this is one director name this will be two three like this okay so here this is this is getting selected okay and now if i go uh, to the next one next one is uh, to select the first and second columns using slicing so you can select like zero to two means so let me uh, run this one so as you can see here what will it will do uh, so here we are selecting rows zero to two zero and two not zero to two so this these are index this is index and this is zero to one uh, this is my column index okay so this is zero zero color index and one index this is zero zero index and second one okay so so let's go to the second next one so here you can see the number of rows and uh, let's say i want to select all the rows i want to select all row and first two column so these are the uh, type of interview questions uh, you'll be asked you whenever you are going to face any interview uh, for data science role so yeah so here if you want to select all the roads you can just mention this one column operator and uh, uh, if you want to select only zero two uh, like fast two rows zero one two so fast two columns so here we can just run it i think it will give you first three columns not two columns because here okay so first two columns so zero one the last one it will not come okay similarly uh here also we can Okay, so today uh, we'll conclude the video here only. So on next classes, on next videos, I'll be talking about uh, other functionalities of uh, data frame. Okay, so thank you.